this video we're going to do something slightly different. We have here a John Lewis DAB radio. A tiny little thing. Power, reset, reset causes it to scan DAB FM tuner. Um, at the moment I've got absolute on it's working quite nicely. I can't really put any music on for you because you know you know the score. They get very upset with me. Um, you just set the station and then it memorizes it. And then there we go. That works. It doesn't sound too bad what it is. Um, no, I brought this to use it with the Coomba. Um, my intention is to fit a DAB receiver into it. So if that's at all possible. So what we're going to do is start by actually having a look inside here and um, and see what uh, what we get. Uh, so it appears to me the first stage with this is going to be taking screws out the back here. Oh look. So John Lewis don't do right to repair because they have horrible triangle screws in it. This is held together the screws with a triangle heading. I've uh, managed to force a Torx into them. They really don't want you to get into this, do they? I don't expect to find much in here. Okay, that's the screws defeated. Okay, so there we go. So my hope with this is to be able to um, to reuse this. And I think uh, I've got a good chance of it. So this of course here is the DAB tuner itself. Um, I've got a speaker, um, a power input board and a control board of the screen. So I think we'll tear this down and see what we can find. We'll just start at the top. New boards. Okay. That goes to some sort of ground plane on the back. Now one of the things they said about this was that the power input didn't work on it. I think we've just discovered why. In fact the power input jack has just fallen off. Board's as uncomplicated as it looks. There really is not a lot on the back of here. So let's unplug the screen and the controls. I put that to one side. So we've got a little LCD panel here and the controls which I think looking at these pop them off and that boards off and we can use that so these knobs are actually plus and minus buttons as you turn them they give a plus or a minus signal so again that's going to give us the ability to modify it
and a little LCD display. So let's put these pink bits out of the way. Um, obviously the aerial here is in two parts, you've got the front of the aerial and the back of the aerial. And power supply here. four pins in the plug that the plugs come apart. Um, I'm not really too concerned about this. All I want to do at this stage is just plug the, uh, the parts back in and just make sure that we've not tried anything. There we go, so that's still okay. So I'm intending to ignore the volume control. I'll just set that somewhere and leave it and take the line out from it. We will have buttons for the station. We'll mount the screen, uh, etc., And we'll use that inside the Coomba, which I'll link in this video. Uh, but I thought that would be quite an interesting little teardown. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and have a look for some of the other videos I've done.